Hello guys, this is my first video and on my first video I am going to do a mod review on the Jaffa Cake mod because I just was looking through the forums and I found this and I thought it would be pretty cool. So, to start off with this mod, I'll put a link in the description where to download it and it's a really easy download so uh, don't worry about it. Really easy install. So for this, there's two type of Jaffas you can make. It's a pretty small mod, but I think it's kind of cool. There's two types of Jaffas you can make, and I'm going to show you how to make each one. All right, now, this is what you want to do. You want to have cocoa beans. You put cocoa beans in the crafting table. It gives you three chocolate bars, all right? Now, if you put an apple next to a chocolate bar, you will get a chocolate apple, right? And if you uh, put the chocolate apple in between two bread, you'll get an apple Jaffa cake, all right? Now, if you take an apple and orange dye, you'll make an orange. And then, same thing, you put the orange in between the two bread, and, uh, oh, sorry. You have to put it in chocolate. It looks the same, but, you know, whatever. You put it in between there, like that. And now you have, uh, two Jaffas to eat. So, yeah, this is the first mod I'm going to be reviewing today. I'm going to be reviewing another mod called the weapon of the weapons of ages mod all right so i'll be right back with that guys now we're going to do the ancient weapons mod um which basically adds tomahawks and stuff so that makes it really cool so now these are the things you're going to need to make the weapons wait let me get a crafting table really quick All right, now, to make it, you're going to need these items, and the first thing I'm going to show you how to make is the tomahawk, and to make the tomahawk, the tomahawk, you put two sticks like that, like you would any other tool, except for a sword, and then you would put four iron ingots just like that. And then you put a feather on the end of it, and yeah, you have a tomahawk. Now, if you right click on it, it'll pull back like an arrow, but it doesn't shoot anything. But it's fun to use. It's a two shot kill with um, normal mobs like sheep and stuff. And for no, sheep is one shot, and pigs are two shots. Anyway, and the mobs in uh, the actual bad guys, the monsters, they take three. Now, you can make this tomahawk better by taking the tomahawk and putting iron on the top and bottom of it. And right there, you have a reinforced tomahawk, which is a little better. It does more damage. One-shot kills with... Uh, vanilla mobs and with the monsters takes two, I believe. No, on skeletons it takes two, and on zombies it takes three. Anyway, you could also make a spiritual type of tomahawk thing, but it does cost. But it's not in this update yet. You cannot make it yet. It takes like, it takes spiritual shards and spiritual sticks to make it. And that's not in the game yet, so yeah. Now I am going to show you how to make the sword thing. I'm not sure what it's called. But yeah, I'll see in a minute. I believe you make it like that. Look at that. Uh... 
All right, so you make it with three iron like that and one stick on the side, and that makes an iron kopesh. And the iron kopesh is a uh, pretty cool sword, I guess. Um, if I go to up to a sheep, it takes two shots with a sheep. Uh, yeah, so I guess it takes four with monsters I'm not sure you can test that for yourself either way it's still a pretty cool weapon and I would recommend it it's pretty cool now you can make a uh, reinforced cowboy pesh thing yeah fine iron copesh you take that and it does more damage if I go up to a sheep it should give him a one shot kill Oh, nope, two shot. Hold on. It was this one. Yep, takes two shot with sheep. And it takes... Two shot with the pig. Or maybe it was three, I don't know. But, yeah. And you could also reinforce this. Kopesh sword. You could reinforce it into a sharpened iron kopesh, and it does more damage. Let's see what damage it does. One shot of sheep. Uh, Alright, now let's try it out with a, uh, with the eggs. Nah, I want the spawner eggs. Let's just do creeper egg. Or a zombie. Zombie. And a skeleton. So let's try a zombie first. Uh, yeah. It did. I'm not using the right one. Not using. No, no. Yeah, it is the right one. Yeah, so it takes a couple hits to just kill a mob. Just a normal mob. Now let's try to kill a creeper and see how this works. So that's one. That's two. It's three. So it takes three shots to kill a monster. So that's good. I like this mod. It adds. It's kind of a. It changes things. And sometimes mine, the, the sword in Minecraft can get boring. So this is a great mod if you think that's boring to have. Which I do at times. Because you want to have like a cool weapon. And I think in the future they're going to make this actually have some use like you'll be able to throw it so that would be really cool so yeah that's it for this mod review i hope you enjoyed it if you did please like and you know subscribe because it really helps me uh, yeah thank you <laughs>